a search engine is a useful tool to help you find information on the internet. It is, there's millions and millions of pages of information on the internet and a search engine will help you narrow down that information. I searched the word health and you can see the vast amount of websites that it's hit on the word health. So I, I actually wish to search for information about health food in Ireland. So I'm going to narrow down my search a bit further by looking for, the, for uh, health food. Um, to help us even further with that, I'm going to look for the exact phrase health food in a page by putting quotes around the word health food. So looking for the word health and food written together and uh, that narrows our search down further. So I want to have pages just from Ireland, so I'll just use plus Ireland. So that's the exact phrase health food, but the web page uh, can include the word Ireland anywhere in the web page along with that. And now we're down to uh, under 400,000 uh, results, as you can see here. You can see much of the information about health food is uh, very commercially based. So I'm going to refine the food or the search further by taking out any reference to the word store or any to the reference to the word shop by using the minus symbol. So I've narrowed down the search to just over 100,000 pages and you can see I get lots of good websites, reliable websites like citizensinformation.ie, government uh, websites, um, official food board, Irish scientists website, etc. Uh, that are non-commercially based to give you good sound information about health food that doesn't have a commercial bias. Now that I found some uh, useful websites about health food, Let's take a look at some of them and see which ones are the most reliable sources of information. The first website I'm going to take a look at is the Citizens Information site. It's is provided by a government agency, the Citizens Information Board, so we can be reasonably sure that this information is reliable and we can see there are contact details to follow up about this information. Another nice feature of the site is you can see how recently it was updated. And this site was updated as recently um, as uh, 2008. Now let's look at the second website on which we found information. Uh, surrounded by pop-up type advertisements, lots of advertisements on the side here. Hard to find information, hard to find who's publishing information, wh where the source of information has come from, and um, who to contact to verify the information. We do have contact details here. However, you can see there is no name, uh, there is no email contact or phone contact to, to follow up. I'll leave you conclude yourself which site is probably the most reliable source of information. We know, now know how to find a reliable source of information on the web. When we find that information and use it for assignments, etc., it's important that we acknowledge where we found that information. Um, I'm writing uh, about good things to do in Limerick and I found a very good website about Tolman Park Stadium and wrote some information based on the website here in my own words and now I'm going to acknowledge the source of that information. To do, to do that I can go to the references area of my word processor and choose to insert the citation um, and add the source of the information that I've chosen. In this case here, I'm going to choose a website. You can uh, add books, journal articles, etc., um, or reports, depending on where you found your information. So the website here. The author of the website um, is a corporate author. If we just return to the website here, and we can see that the corporate author of the website is uh, Tobin Park Stadium. I'll just the name of the web page as opposed to the website. Okay, there's a web page and website details. So the website uh, is called Tolman Park Stadium, and the the web page, the page of the site, you can see there's many pages inside: home, events, stadium information, etc. Uh, this particular page is this uh, the stadium info page. So web page is stadium info. Uh, 
on the website is looking Poland Park Stadium. Uh, the year of publication. You can see that the content here was published at the bottom of the site. The content here was published in 2009. And it does not specify the month or the day. And then you can just put underneath that when you've accessed the site, in this case here, uh, the year is 2010. The month is September. And the day is the 14th. And the final part is the URL or the link to the website. So let's just visit the website, go to the address bar of my browser here, highlight my address. You can right click and take a copy of the URL or the link to the website. Return to your word processor, right click in the URL box and paste it in. Now you can give a, a short tag name there and uh, I'm just going to call that Toland. So I know what I'm referring to and then just click OK. And now you can see that the citation has been placed in the document. When you've collected many citations at the end of the document you can of course insert your bibli bibli bibliography quite easily which will be um, automatically sorted A to Z. You can see the bibliography only consists of the citation that I placed in, um, in this document.